Alright, hey guys, it's Dustin Bush Viper 66. Uh, this will be the first review using the new, uh, the new uh, Sony camera that I got, so let's hope this works out pretty well. Um, didn't like the, um, the previous camera that much, so hopefully uh, this will all work out you know, pretty well. But today we're going to do the rear view review. Um, did this view review a little while ago, but um, had to redo it simply because of the camera. Um, and today we're just going to you know, show you some few things. Um, and I'm not really going to do an unboxing because I already kind of did it. But uh, just a few words on, on the Revy before, you know, I, I just like start off here. Um, the Revy is somewhat of Dangerous Power's halo gun. And what I mean by like a halo gun is basically uh, Dangerous Power is saying, you know, this is what we're capable of. You know, we can compete with every single gun out there, you know, our techs know what they're doing, um, and, you know, this, this is what we're capable of. So basically, they, they want to create a gun for the, the tournament player, the experienced, you know, paintball enthusiast that, you know, has really no price limit for uh, his, gun, his gun range, and yet um, create a gun that is, you know, just looks ab absolutely awesome, and increase the sales of their lower end guns, such as the G4, you know, the Fusions and stuff like that. So basically that's all that they're saying is that with the Revy is, you know, this is what we're capable of, you know, by dangerous power. So that's what basically they mean by their Halo gun. Because as you guys know, you never really see Revies that are uh, around that much anymore, or actually at all. Uh, you know, I'm basically the only one on my field that owns a Revy. But uh, as you see you guys here with the case, um, is you get a full barrel kit, all right? You get a full barrel kit here. You get a six, six eight nine, six eight five, and a six nine three bore sizes. All right, so it's a, a very extensive uh, a bore sizing kit. Um, and you also get a, a fourteen inch tip and a sixteen inch tip. Okay, so that's a pretty extensive kit. And I'll explain what these two Allen keys are for later. And what this is for as well, but um, that's 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 a pretty extensive kit. Unlike you know a kit like the Angel A1 Flies, which is kind of obsolete because um, bore sizes are pretty much too big for the paint sizes or paint bore sizes these days. Um, it's not really a practical kit to use. I mean, you get a pretty big kit with you know the Angel A1 Fly, which is around the same price range as the Revy. Um, you know the $850 price range. But as you see, you guys, you get everything in here from uh, barrel condoms to Allen key sets, lubrication, and a really, really well thought out manual. Uh, let's put this down here. Really well thought out manual, guys. As you see here, it's full color manual. It gives you a full description of and uh, how to on the OLED board and on um, basically everything you need to know about your gun. Now, um, I'm just going to take out my, the Angel A1 Fly, because some people have been saying, you know, how does it compare to guns, other guns in its price range? So I'm just going to take it out. Not, not, I'm not comparing them at all, because they're two completely different design guns. But um, they're both in the, you know, $850, $900 range um, in price. So I'm just going to take that out and leave it right there, and when I need it, I'll pick it back up. Actually, let me get some, let me get these barrels out here, too. But to start off with the Revy, basically, the Revy is, is one of the most... Um, one of the most well thought out guns I've, I've seen in a long time. I mean, it's so innovative in design. I, like even, you know, rivals that of some of the stuff that Eclipse has been coming out with. Um, Dangerous Power is a relatively new company. They came into the scene on around 2006-ish. And basically, ever since then, they've been cranking out some really high-end products. I mean, um, good quality products. And this is their first seriously high-end gun. Um, and honestly, they just they did an extremely great job on it. There's stuff on this gun that you know you don't even see on guns these days. One of the only guns that has some of the features these days. First off, as some of you guys will know, is I'm gonna take the bolt out right here. Is you take the bolt out, and as you guys, some of you guys notice, it has a rear-mounted pressure gauge. And what I like about the pressure gauge is that you know some people like gauges on their guns. Like I love my shockers. Some people like the gauges on their guns, but, you know, they would stick out of the side like that. And, you know, you kind of have that, that gauge sticking in the corner of your hand. This is right in the back of the gun. Really simple, really easy, really easy readings on it. It's great. 
But what you, a lot of you guys out there who use Geos and Geo2s, you should definitely be a fan of the Revy because this gun uses a dump valve design uh, bolt system, okay? And, and the bolt structure is actually very similar to a Geo, actually even simpler to a Geo or a Geo Plus. This is it. This is the whole bolt right here, all right? That's the whole bolt. Dump valve design. Dangerous Power actually owns the patent on the dump valve design, which is um, pretty cool. So, you know, techs at, at uh, Dangerous Power, you know, they created that. So you should be thankful to Dangerous Power that you guys have your Geos and, uh, you know, your Geo2s. But uh, that's the first thing. Also around the bolt, there's a clear acrylic tube that you can place into the back of your gun. And as you see, you can see through it. So you can actually see the bolt actuating in the back of your gun, which is really cool. You also get a, um, an aluminum piece that also slides right in the back of the gun, just like that. And it just takes the place of the clear acrylic piece if you like the, um, the, um, the anodized piece instead. So really cool, um, uh, just a little cool win window viewage feature there. Another really awesome design I thought that, you know, just they hit out of the park is, they, is the switchblade trigger. Well, what Dangerous Power basically did is they took guns just such as, you know, the SL94 and the SLS and they took that whole two triggers concept and just took it to the next level. They took two triggers and integrated them into one trigger and you can basically switch the triggers out off a single pivot point as you see here switched around so basically it's a uh, an s style trigger and a, a rake style trigger all in one so that's a very very um awesome feature so if you know you're playing psp you just have to kind of put one finger you can switch it to the rake style if you know like for semi-auto you can switch to the s style and bam you got an awesome gun for semi-auto what I did have a problem with about the trigger is it is a breakaway magnet. Some of you guys who own um, you know, old carnivores and stuff like that, it's the same kind of design. Uh, is a breakaway magnet style trigger, so it can have a lot of balance. I personally had a lot of trouble getting the balance out of this gun. But you know, um, in like literally 20 minutes <laughs> to tweaking the gun, getting the balance out of it. But eventually um, I got the balance out and it's, it's, it's working fine. Um, last, another thing is that they put a cool little regulator on here and um, it's very resemblant of kind of like a Hyper 2 regulator back on your DM 6s uh, and 7s, uh, but it, it does have a um, uh, shims on the inside, there's no spring, kind of like how a lot on my, like my Ego 9s and stuff like that, uh, or on my Ego 9 had a, a spring on the inside, which is actually more kind of user friendly, but the shims work just as well, there's no problem with it at all. This gun also features one of, probably one of the coolest ASAs on the market. This is the RAPS ASA. And basically that stands for Rapid Air Pressurization System. And what that is, is that if your air is like this, or it's not gassed up, you have a tank in the back, there you go, your air is gassed up. You need to release it, or you need to degas your gun. There you go, it's simple as that. It works brilliantly, no problem with it at all. Just absolutely awesome design. Dangerous Power also owns the patent on the clamping feed neck. So all those those clamping feed necks that you have on all, all every single gun basically on the market is basically designed by Dangerous Power, which is actually really cool and Dangerous Power doesn't get enough credit for that because almost all guns these days have um, clamping feed necks. Another really cool thing they did is like all gun com is like some gun companies they went with an OLED board designed by Ape Rampage, okay? And what was awesome about going with Ape Rampage is unlike, you know, this, like this, which is the Angel It One Fly in the same price range, um, uh, instead, like, they designed their own board, and Angel is not, this is not the best board, okay? Going with Ape Rampage was an excellent idea, because Ape knows what they're doing. Angel does not when it comes to boards, so basically, you're getting a $900 gun, you know, $850 gun, and you're getting kind of a crap board in this one and a good board in this one. So, um, yeah, so they went with an excellent board company. The board works phenomenally. It's, it's very high resolution, um, uh, lots of pixels, so you, and no problem reading it in, in sunlight. However, this board can, is pretty confusing, and it also has a lot of cheater modes. I mean, a lot of cheater modes. I'm not just talking about, you know, you know, ramping for three for for three seconds and then that's it. I'm talking about you know you're out, you're off the break, and you start you, right when you break you start firing. You can have to set the first three shots to semi-auto. Once you shoot those first three shots, you can have a switch to let's say 16 DPS 
PSP. So now you're on 16 BPS PSP and you want to set that for five seconds. So now five seconds later, you're still on PSP and then right when the five seconds hit, it switches back to semi and auto clears the entire thing. So it's basically untraceable. Now that is intense cheater moves. Like you, you never really see that in a, you know, a stock gun, but um, that's pretty intense cheater modes. Do I use the cheater modes? No, I don't use the cheater modes because I personally like to play fair. I don't need cheater modes. It's, you know, it, however, it is a cool kind of feature that, that uh, Ape Rampage just decided to put in their, in their Rampage board. But um, cool, all right? It's a great, great gun for, for you know, um, Dangerous Power's first super high-end gun. You know, they just, they did awesome on it. You know, it's, it's, it's a spool valve design, dump valve design. You know, give this gun, give Dangerous Power credit for all your geos and stuff like that. Eclipse took it, did did do a great job on improving the design or uh, making it their own. But, you know, Dangerous Power, they know what they're doing, all right? They designed that dump valve system. Um, like I said, comes with an awesome barrel kit. Great bore sizes, all right? It's not like the Angel's slapstick barrel kit, you know, where the bore sizes are way too big for the paint used in tournaments today. These are actual, these are actually very smaller bore sizes for paint that people use in tournaments and stuff today. You know, you have your mid to front, front player 14 inch barrel and your back player 16 inch barrel. You get two cool inserts, you know, uh, rear mounted pressure gauge, ape rampage board, you know, some, some flawless anodizing on this gun. Um, a great regulator, switchblade trigger, probably one of the most innovative guns to date, all right, that's on the market. And I'm, I'm saying, guys, if you, I'm not telling you to go buy one, but if you have a chance to shoot one of these, just pick it up and try shooting it. Really cool. It actually has the sound signature more similar to, you know, a, a, uh, a poppet valve. But bottom line, really cool gun, guys. Definitely recommend it. If you want to go check it out, you know, check it out at nsgear.com or Action Village. Uh, wherever you like, or at your local pro shop. Thanks for watching this review, review guys. This is SL Bushwagger 66. Bye.